This is the Kerala Derby. It's Calicut versus Kochi. Here we go. Okra sets it. Boom! Straight away, Calicut signaling their intentions in this match, going for the kill. Uh, that's how they tell the opposition the mood they are in tonight. Watch out, Kochi. Calicut have come in with so much intent tonight. Already, Ukra running a combination play. Ashwin right over the shoulder of Sandoval. I have a feeling he's going to get really creative in today's match. Absolutely, that's his uh, middle name at the moment, Ukra. And so many little things. Did last night's win a chance to play in this hall help them? And it's another big ace. It's the perfect start for the heroes. 17 service errors last night, and within 23 hours, the Calicut heroes have worked on that little chink in their armor. Well done, Kishore Kumar. He knew what was not working last night. They clearly addressed it. Yeah, absolutely. They've gone after their serves. They're staying aggressive, which is where the errors come from in the first place. But for Kochi, uh, well, deer in headlights sort of style at the moment. Oh, did I speak too soon? Jerome just giving it that bit of rip, extra rip, 2-1 to Calicut. Interesting how they've uh, started with uh, Jerome serving this evening. Usually, Uber is the first person to serve. Much like uh, Bengaluru, I suppose uh, Calicut take a lot of pride in serving big and just going for it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if, if you serve aggressively over time, it, it comes your way in this game. I think Coach are going to do exactly the same. Ukra sets it for Matiling. The block was there, but uh, it did not quite work. The point has been awarded to the Calicut Heroes. The captain gets going as well. Now, it bit by bit, point by point, they're getting all the players into the mix. Well, still early, but it's great to see Matt getting a swing early doors. He's not usually known as one of the big scorers for this team. He's a well-rounded player. He's all over the place in defense and reception. But he just sneaks one through the block there because it's not a super disciplined block. Again, we might see a lot of that tonight. Ten points for Hilling so far in this competition. I just think he hasn't had as much ball as everyone else in the team. But his impact has been a, a, a huge, huge factor. It's an intangible. But just the way he's controlled the team, he's, uh, he's ensured they, they keep calm. I think that is something that will be one of the stories if Kali could go on to win the title. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are animated around him all the time, isn't there? And it just takes somebody to try and uh, put that fire out. And that's what Hilling does incredibly well. Jerome, beautifully done. A gentle little push. Does the job this time. He's not all about wham bam. He's got so many different facets to his spiking. That's why he's one of the best. We talk about this hard driven ball all the time, but he can take speed off and he's still contacting really, really high. So that's going to be a Rute on the go point. Also, point to note, middle blocker just served. That's the perfect place to tip. The libero is nowhere in sight to help defense. Kishore Kumar knows all about that middle blocking defense. They're all winning. One ace so far, one service header from him. He generally likes to go big. Just like that, goes straight to Vipul. Short set and the job was done. Abhinav, that man, we spoke about him in the pre-show. He's been one of their uh, rare positives. And do the fans love it or what? They certainly do. And I think the one big change for me for Kochi, since they've had the coach switch uh, in Bobby coming in, Rupe contact the shot for this one. But their aggression in every area has gone up a notch. Yeah, another combination play. Yeah, another combo, but this time setting that middle ball instead of the opposite on the other side. Mixer wasn't a be Shubham Chaudhary did not do the job. I suppose uh, the timing of his jump and his contact with the ball wasn't in sync. I let our experts describe what happened there. We might need another look, Manish. Let's have a little uh, second look at this in just a moment. Matt Hilling, ball in hand first. I mean, somebody to come back from having a virus yesterday. 24 hours he didn't come out of his room. We are going to have another look here. Pete, talk us through that one. Yeah, tough to tell from that angle, but again, when you're serving that top spin, you do have to have that ball pretty much perfect. Matt Hilling, oh, how close was that? I thought the idea was right, not too much power. 
He's looking for that optimum touch. He wasn't to be another service error. Now they need to work on that count because as they go along in this tournament, come the semi-finals, they cannot afford these errors. And speaking of service errors, I had a chance to chat to Matt about this because we're in the same hotel now, and he's he's really struggling finding the contact on that ball. This white ball really floats in this gym, especially with this extra heat in here. Well, Kras hits it. Oh, boom! Silly play. For a second, I thought it was over. Ukra will try again. This time he'll go on his own. Kochi. Dance now. No, they've messed it up. Here comes Jerome. Always gets it right. Only the one man in front of him. Erwin Borges had no chance whatsoever. He barely got a whip of the ball. Smell the leather, said Jerome beneath. Watch the ball go past you. All you can do is just smell it. The perfume spike, was it? It was perfect. I mean, he's on the backcourt, so he has to jump from behind the line. But he's just got all this height to be able to go over the top or around. In the one-on-one -on -one situation, he's big enough to score on the backcourt. Kochi, I mean, they, they put in some brilliant defensive displays. Prem Singh with a great pickup. What an attractive side uh, the Caligari heroes are. The double block uh, this time did work. Sandoval was there alongside uh, Shafiq, I reckon it was. And uh, yes, rare opportunity to celebrate for uh, the Kochi Blue Spikers in front of their home fans. What happened there? Well, that's the end, that's the swing. But I like that they took something and made something out of a really difficult serve. It was a short serve. They pulled up the defense, so they then didn't have a great attacking option. but. Good job to get past that block. Sandoval with Ashwin and that error allowing the Calicut Heroes to consolidate their lead. The Calicut, there's one feature about them guys is that they will keep coming at the opposition. They do not allow easy points unless they're committing errors. Once the rally is on, they're always there. The intensity is so beautiful to watch. Boom. Once again, well done. Enough power on that. No shock absorbers uh, in that double block. Once again, the Sandoval pairing didn't do the job. And you know what, from the Kochi that we saw in Bengaluru to Hyderabad, they are playing a lot more aggressive. Again, Sandoval's not quite there. Sandoval's success in the block is 25%. And that's, I think, almost half of his opposite number, Walter de Cruz, who's in the mid-40s. So we know that Sandoval's going to score points, but he's being targeted in the block, especially when he's moved laterally. It's been a season of uh, disappointments and learnings for the Kochi Blue Spikers. Four losses, uh, lost tonight. Ooh, Sandoval. The block's not working. He's uh, hitting the spikes outside as well. What's up? He, he's not looking completely as himself today or yesterday. He's lost a lot of energy after getting that yellow card. He doesn't like to celebrate quite as much. I think he likes that set. He could maybe get it a little bit higher again. He's always trying to reach a bit higher. He's a bit tight to the net. Didn't have a great angle on it. I still like that he's getting aggressive on it. Having a piece in this first set. Ooh, just outside. Now, Kochi cannot afford to be in a dilemma. They've got to go all out. They've got to know that, look, it doesn't matter. Just go for the kill, who knows? Greg, you've got to go for yourself especially against the team who are looking to go top of the lead and your bottom, be aggressive. Eight points on the board means it's time for an all call technical timeout. We'll see you after the break. It's the Kerala Derby, it's Calicut versus Kochi. Take a look at the points table. A win tonight will take Calicut to the top of the table now. Calicut and Kolkata are level on points with eight. Why are Calicut at number three? The set difference is the same as well. The reason Calicut are below Kolkata is the points difference. Kolkata with a point difference of plus 41. And before this match, Calicut had a points difference of plus 5. So every point will matter. It will determine where you finish on the points table. But if Calicut want to completely avoid that issue, just win tonight, go top of the table. It's that simple. Jerome keeps it in play. There comes Matt Hilling. Kochi fighting hard, pipe attack, the block was there! Finally, Sandoval does the job! That is the might of the Calicut heroes! And the Red Army loved it! Oh, Sanju Samson is in the house! Hello, Sanju! 
Well, that's a big moment. That is a statement from Sandoval. He is a big time player and he knows how important it is to shut down the attackers of the other side. Really good aggressive block, pressing over, finishing inside. I mean, Rohit Kumar hasn't had a lot of luck throughout this competition. 22 points for the league's top buy in the draft at 17 and a half black. Just got absolutely roofed up. This time it goes out to the opposite. He gave it the absolute rip there. I think it was Erin Verghese. Yes, that's right, from zone two. Gave it everything. Absolute bullet like that in a one-on-one -on -one battle versus the opposition captain, Matt Helling. Take a look at that. So much power in the right shoulder. And you also know that talent scouts from across the world are watching Louis. So there are many reasons for these youngsters to raise their game and show the world what they're all about. Absolutely. I mean, they certainly have the height, the physicality, the power to impress at the moment. And they're in the these uh, unfortunately to the net this time. But it's interesting, isn't it? This part for Kochi. They lost their captain early on, the Peruvian captain, Eduardo Romain. And they've actually shown that they have two very good players on that right. You have two bad. Chowdhury has been brilliant. I think that Aaron Begay could also play there as well over the long term. I think Kochi have got a lot of good about them over time. Players have got two-year contracts. A lot to build on. Once again, oh Jerome, well done. Ukra sets it for Hilling. Looking for that uh, open space. The pond there wasn't to be. The double block. Still in play. What a rally. Hold your breaths. Here comes the finishing touch. Oh, not yet. Spoke too soon. Coach, you have the result. And... No, they won't win the points. Oh, oh, oh such a battle of nerves here. Kishore Kumar loved that rally. Just pumping up his boys. Yeah, Shafiq has been really impressive as well. We talked about him a little bit. He's getting the high five there from Coach. Question mark whether or not he touched that ball, but we'll get another chance to see it. I think he got the high five for, uh, well, someone had to take that set, not this one. A couple of free balls go the way, and this is Kochi. Great cover from Prem Singh, but at the same time, they've had two free balls in this rally that they haven't been able to put away. And in turn, Shamit did a good job taking one for the heroes. And it's another pipe attack that falls by the wayside. Here's one more look at it. I don't think there was a touch on it. But speaking of Shafiq, the 28-year-old middle, he's at 58% efficiency, 24 points so far. He doesn't get a lot of talking about him, because we talk a lot about Sandoval, but we also talk a lot about owning your favorite moments of the match by buying an NFT at treasureclub.io. I hope you go ahead and do that if you're enjoying this match. One of my favorite moments of this league is um, behind the scenes of Louis Lett and Key Mikey enjoying Indian food, but I'm not paying a single dollar for it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Once again, uh, looks like that is one aspect of Kochi that has worked well. Clear touch off the block, the ball lands outside. Kochi wins the point. 11 10 it is to Cali, 11 9 it is so far. But Shuban back in his uh, regular spot playing opposite on the right side. Every time they've gone off the block, they've scored, they've stayed high, they've changed direction of the ball, which is key. We saw a lot of moments last night where the blitz just hammered where they were facing and got shut down. Changing direction of the ball up to the ante of uh, going off the block. Now then, Calicut have called for a super point. They want to go up 13-9. When your opposition is down, completely ruin any chances of them coming back. Ukra sets it for Jerome. Couldn't find the angle there. Just a bit of a crowd there in front of him. Shobham Chaudhry wasn't able to split that gap. A triple block. And yet it didn't work. Somehow, he penetrated the attack there, Erin Burgis. And scores a level because that super point was worth two. Kochi had done a huge work in that point. I know that Coach was calling this because Walters at the service line doesn't have one of the toughest serves in the league. Do a good job of getting a pretty good ball in and it's converted. So Kochi then have an opportunity and they do not let it go. Have a look here, Hilling does a good job of slowing the game down. I think it's going to be very disappointing that well, the libero Raman was on the back foot there. And he's done his job by slowing it down, and that's worth two. And you can see his face. Two going for it. I think he'll be a little bit upset that went straight through his arms as well. 
Generally, you want to leave just enough space for one ball, but if a ball can get between your arms, that's a no-go. So it looks like Calicut wanted a review, but they did not do it within the stipulated time, which is four seconds. That's all you have. 11 apiece now in the first set in this Kerala derby. Hilling Okra and then the winner. They found different heroes for different moments. Now that is what makes Calicut so dangerous. Nishor Kumar loved it. Much better. That's probably exactly what they would have liked in that last point. But now, Kochi asking for a super point. And I think it's Jerome serving. He's got one of the toughest serves in the league. Yep, remember you can take it only at or before the 11 point mark. And so, you don't take the super points home, do you? Might as well go for it. Kochi going all in. Will it work? Jerome serves. Dance the spike and they've managed it. Abhinav does the job. An ace-like move. Absolute arrow from Abhinav. Very well directed. More direction than power in that move from Abhinav to take Kochi into the lead. Well, we saw this yesterday, didn't we, from Chennai Blitz. Team struggling at the bottom, playing some great volleyball, turning a real sharp angle there. The middle, Abhinav. But again, I have to say, Jerome didn't know whether to go for that sir, or take pace off. In the end, he ended up just dropping the ball in the middle of six. If you're going to take pace off, Keith, I think you've got to go to the sidelines or the seams. Oh! Well, Ukra didn't take any pace off that. There's a little tipster, though. Rohit getting a rupee on the go point. Cleverly done. Love to see a little change up in the offense like that. Two set points to the Kochi Blue Spikers. A little gift for fans who've turned up here in large numbers. And it looks like Calicut have this habit of losing the first set. They take one set to rev up their engines. They cannot afford anything like this in the matches ahead. Not in the semis for sure. I mean, I've got to throw that one on Ukra. Every time the score is close or it's a big moment, he tries to do something flash. So it's not a surprise if he goes on the second ball there or he tries to run a combination. Then you have to say to Kochi, well done for being alert and alive. Well, there is the Rupee VIP box. Enjoy the match from that vantage point at a certain height. They can uh, watch all the moves, all the great footwork, the big spikes, those uh, blockbuster blocks as well, all that. Sanju Sampson, alongside Sapir, uh, the co-owner of uh, the Caligan Heroes. Sanju, a son of the soil here in Kerala, one of the biggest cricket names from Kerala. Ukra for Jerome goes down the line. They've saved one set point. You cannot keep the door open. Jerome can completely come and uh, park that ball where he wants to if you keep that door open like that. So good at finding the line. He has all the angles. We'll get another look at this, but Ukra finding him, he knows that who, who he wants to go to. Especially because Ukra's moved a little bit forward. That's a great angle to see as the middle blocker has followed him. Flicks it behind and it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Nicely done. Well, still set point for Kochi. Matt Hilling at the line. And we saw what he did last time with the ball. Can he control it? It usually doesn't go big. Oh, lucky break. Chance to spike. And then we'll have the first set. The first set to the Kochi Blue Spikers. Are we in for an upset or what? Kochi make the first move. Wake up Calicut before it's too late. I was going to say, can you believe it? But after watching last night, I certainly can. Especially with the new aggressive nature of Kochi. They're not scared to make errors. They put everything on the line. They've been rewarded here. Yeah, and if you're going to take on Calicut, the best day to do it is the day after they've already played a five-set match. So they might be a little fatigued. They might be a little tired. But Kochi coming out with some super energy. Love to see it. Great work by them. So, score is 1-0. There's more volleyball to be played. Make sure you come back. We'd love to see you. Welcome back to a scene here in Kerala. The Derby, the Derby, however you pronounce it, is going strong. The Kochi Blue Spikers are one up over the Calicut Heroes. I'm not sure anyone saw this coming, but the sea of blue 
will be stoked on it. Well, there are the statistics for the Kochi Blue Spikers, and it is a great start for them. They haven't had much to sing about throughout this season. Nine spikes to five. That's a difference. Abernant has scored three from three. Perfect start in the middle. You know where you can find all of the exclusive stats. www.volleyballworld.com Yeah, we're always watching the stats in between the sets. Jibin, top scorer so far for Kochi. Watch out for him, Ashwin and Jerome. Both have two points for Calicut. Will be five attack points. Kochi have been the more offensive side. They've uh, spiked with a little more freedom. Also, uh, that uh, Calicut's blocks have not worked. They did not in the first set. How's that for a start from the blockers? And that should make Sandoval feel really good. He's still not celebrating. He's still very muted in his celebration. What does that say about his uh, state of mind? That's a good question, because I miss it. I miss that character out of Sandoval. I feel like it was one of the most fun parts of this league. But that's a great block by him, and that is not the smartest swing by Kochi. I actually spoke to Sandoval walking through the hotel today and asked him uh, where he was last night in terms of his hype. And he said it was coming tonight, he was bringing it. We haven't seen it yet. Aaron uh, fires another one. How impressive is he being? There's a little bit of line open. Great feed inside the ball, arm opens up, wrist styles away, bam, to the line. You know, when you look at the likes of Aaron Berges and Abhinav, Seems like Kochi had all the right ingredients. They've just not found the recipe to bring all of it together. Pointing to pressing season, it's been Jerome! That is how Jack Jerome takes off when he wants to and uh, offers, inflicts a huge wound, a scar on the opposition defense. He's taken a set to wake up, but now that he has, watch out, Kochi. Yeah, I wonder if that first set was a wake-up call exactly for Calicut. This one, we're going to call it a contactless shot, a Rupe contactless shot, blocked nowhere in sight, but Jerome is always hitting over and around people. So big, and the one thing that I would say, I was really impressed with the way that the Blue Spikers played against Bengaluru Torpedoes. It took some special stuff for the Torpedoes to get through that, some good serving. This time, but there was cover. Okra, Sando, one man blocked us the job. Was that Walter? Yes, I reckon it was. Right place, right time. Goodbye, Mr. Sandoval, said Walter. He's zero from two now, Sandoval. He's only given two sets in the opening set in a little bit. And I'd say that they have to keep feeding him. They have to get him more in the game. Is there a touch of overconfidence in Calicut's body language tonight? Or is it just that coaches raised their game so much that Calicut hasn't been allowed to just, or take this game away from them? Kochi might have done their homework. I mean, that's a great block on Sandoval. That was the only direction that he had. So maybe they're just doing a better job of slowing down the attackers that no one else has been able to. Justin McHilling found that uh, very difficult angle. He did go cross court, not never easy from zone four. To find that angle very narrow as well. So well done, Captain. To come back to your question as we have a, another look at Hilling. Just missing out on that respect. Great swing, by the way. I feel that if we look at the performance last night from Calicut, on another day, I think the Blitz could have won that 3-2. 15-8 in the last set. So I wouldn't say it's just today they haven't quite shown up. I would say last night they weren't at their best possible performance either. I suppose uh, they've still not completely recovered from their loss to the Ahmedabad defenders. That's when we saw that Calicut are beatable. The Ahmedabad might have shown the way for the other teams. Just the one loss for uh, Calicut so far. What a great uh, service that was from Sandoval. Just a touch, only a point. Touches throw hit. Not able to keep the ball in play. 4-2 to Calicut after losing the first set. What have Calicut got in this set? They are being tested. I love that serve. After having four errors in the last match, well, he adds one more to it. But an ace to go along with it. That's a good start for Sandoval. If you can get one ace and one error, that's a good ratio. Keep that one going forward. Another thing we haven't really touched on in this short season is that fatigue has to play a part in it. If you're training hard every day, you're playing a lot of games in a short period of time, maybe there's a little bit of fatigue for Calicut creeping in. That affects your performance for sure. Yeah, they had 22 hours to recover after the last night. Oh, yes. Jerome gets it. He controlled his shot there. Knew that he wanted just enough power to get a point. Didn't go for the glamour shot there. It shows that he's such a mature thinking spiker. 
I appreciate you, Louie, as well, mentioning the fatigue, because to be able to swing like this night after night, I know I'm probably the only one at this table that's played volleyball at a level where you have to compete night after night, but it's not, we're not used to playing back-to-back -back games. You just don't have the physicality to bring it 100%. Also, the intensity of uh, the atmosphere when the fans are there. Oh, yes, super serve! A super-duper serve from Jabal Jerome! That's what Calicut want. The field, the corner of the Calicut heroes is thrilled to bits. Sanju Sampson loved it too. There's a wry smile on his face. What a moment. I mean, in the big moments, Jerome picks up again, doesn't he? Right on the baseline, nothing the Blue Spikers can do about that. And this is their aggressive mentality over time coming to fruition. Hammering the baseline, Kishore Kuma loves it. They've got some breathing space. 7-3 to Calicut. After losing the first set, they uh, look a little more focused. In the second set, they need to keep it going. Intelligent serve straight to the Libro. Here he comes. And yeah, just a momentary lapse in concentration for the Calicut defense. Uh, Jerome wasn't too happy about it. Well, he took a lot off that serve. That first one, he went really, really aggressive. That one, you can't see it here, but it was a little roll into the middle of the court, much easier for Kochi to handle, much easier for them to convert into a big swing on the outside. Describe Kochi's campaign for us so far, in a sentence. Louis, he, both of you, I'll, take, I'll give you some time. That one landed just outside, Rohit Kumar, the ex most expensive buy at the auction. Well, he came here with a ton of expectations that he hasn't really gone to plan, as uh, the Calicut heroes have a four-point lead in the second set. Time for an Amul Bull technical timeout back in just a bit. Here are the top five spikers from the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. Guru has had an incredible competition and he's way in front of the rest. Jerome Benit, after 14 points yesterday, has got his way up the fourth with 50. He's also added to that with seven points today, but here's a look at the blockers. Sandoval, right there in the middle with 14, and I say in the middle, he's only one point behind the top. That's a pretty impressive run for him as well. So then, I asked you guys a question. I bought some time for you guys to think of a line to describe Kochi's campaign so far. Erratic. I was gonna say that serve said all that needed to be. You asked the question and then they served out immediately. That was my answer. It's bizarre how Kochi's campaign has gone. And I, I was at the auction and I thought they put together a pretty decent team. But uh, somehow they just never found their rhythm and uh, they lost their coach halfway through. They have a great spine of the team, don't they? You, you've just said it, that Aaron is playing well. We've got Bauta, who's also playing well. And Bipal Kuma made final four with Hyderabad last year. They have a really good spine, and you have to throw in Rohit Kumar, who hasn't quite performed in that platinum spot, but too many changes. Now then, the service error issue has been transferred to the coach of Blue Spike, because they can ill afford it. They've got to at least put the ball in play now, then beyond shoot, alert as ever. They awards the point to the opposition on that occasion. Calicut not too happy. Well, we'll get a chance to look at it again. I think the setter had the opportunity to set there, and that's the problem. It's not called against Sandoval, even though Sandoval might look a little guilty. That call is against the player that went up against the setter, because if the ball doesn't cross the plane of the net, you have to let the setter an opportunity to set. Bull Kumar to serve. Calicut lead by three. They lost the first set, remember. This is the second of a uh, five-set contest. Ukra sets it. Jerome spikes it. But Kochi were ready for it. Boom! Sandoval's block is a blockbuster block. That's maybe the first time we've seen him marginally fire up here, Sandoval. He's been so quiet. And at least we got a little bit of a hand point in the air on this block, gets across, reads the game really early, and it's good night. 
Yeah, and I have to say, Aaron needed to do a little bit more with that. That was all day going to be a big double block. It was a little bit out of system. Bimple was scrambling around to get that set up there. So you've got to be smarter. You've got to swing line. You've got to tip. You've got to dump. You've got to roll. Anything but swing into that block. Once again, an incredible swing from Aaron Burgess. There's so much spice on that. Just as well, they're playing in the city of spices, Sochi. And the home team is really trying their absolute best to give the fans something to cheer about. Absolutely great set. Valter in the middle takes Sandoval. Rupe contact the shot. Valter deserves a lot of credit there for opening up the one-on-one. -on -one. Aaron goes cross-body. Yeah, give it to the middles. I love that, Louis. You see what's up. 10-7 to Calicut. And Aaron Verghese come up with something magical. On that occasion, anticlimactic that serve from Aaron Verghese. An error that gives Calicut a four-point lead now then. Should Kochi call for a super point? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And they have right on cue. Wow, Manish. I'm impressed. Mind reader. If the company one keeps just uh, spending a couple of weeks with you guys, I've uh, started to read the game a little bit better. A long, long way to go, though. Your volleyball IQ has exponentially increased since day one. Thanks to Lee, Louis Lett and K. Michael. Here we go, then. Get to the lead, bro. Here comes Walter. Shot set. Does the job. Backs it down. No celebration for Walter. Don't call that man, Walter. I've got to give some credit to that man, Bobby, there. He's not had a lot of time to change the mindset here. But they're so much more aggressive. The game plan is so much better. Running the opposite last time, then running the shoot in the middle. Good variation. All the players reacting. Have a look how Sandoval's reaching across. So Walter does a good job of floating away, but still cutting it back to the direction that he came from. So the blockers are nowhere in sight. All super points have gone to Kochi so far. 11-9 the score, Matt Hilling. Couldn't find the right angle. And uh, I suppose there was a there was an error which meant that Calicut will have that point. We'll take a look at it in the replay. Yeah, we're both baffled by this one till we see another another little look at it. Two up, must be a net touch. Yes, uh, Abinam on the way down. Just a shirt. Unfortunate for him. Might be quieter in this set than the opener. Sandoval, eyeball toss, big serve straight to Erin. Here comes Vipul, and then the spike. That to work. There's so much conviction in that move. One, two, three. George Anthony came up with that successful spike. 12 10 to Calicut. Have a look at the pattern of setting. Three, three sets ago, opposite. Then to the middle, then to the outside. And I mean, I. I think the middle should have maybe released a little bit early because the pass was so far off the net, didn't really have a choice to go anywhere else, but good variation. Alcott certainly... Oh, oh, super oh. serve! Shubham Chaudhry serves an absolute rocket from the service line and levels the score. Kochi are in the mood tonight. That's huge, huge from Shubham. We know that he's been a go-to player for this team since he arrived. That straight between two of the better passers in the league, Ashwin and Matt, just looking at each other. Oh, that is that's gonna burn if this set goes Kochi's way. And I didn't think I'd say this whatsoever, but even though they've been down, Kochi have been playing a lot of good volleyball throughout this set, and I think they thoroughly deserve to be head to head towards the end of this one. And you can own moments like uh, that super serve. Courtesy our NFT partners, treasureclub.io, and I'm sure uh, the super serves and super points give you enough content to share on uh, online on social media, on ShareChat, Moj, and YoYo TV, our content partners. There's so much happening at this league, and uh, is it volleyball? Is it belly ball? <laughs> I don't know, but I've never seen fans that enthusiastic at a volleyball game. I'm loving that. Is Mr. Thomas Mutut, the owner of the Kochi Blue Spikers, takes great pride in what his team does. So good to see him in the crowd, and I'm sure the Kochi Blue Spikers will storm back next season with better plans, with better execution. They just looked a little unsettled right from the start. And it looks like today they played their best volleyball in the league. 
they have, but a good timeout by Kishokuma right there, getting Shubram to think about that second serve. After acing the team, he has to go back, and he doesn't even put it in. That is credit to the coach on the other side. Now then, change of personnel for the Karakadiros. Ukra Panyan is not on court. Hailing in the front court. Here comes Shubham. That double block. Hailing once again, but the one bad block does the job. Would you believe it? Oh, Abhinav, you superstar. Wow. I mean, what a turning point. The cover from Prem Singh, I think, earlier on in that rally was unbelievable to almost resuscitate Kochi's chances of going 2-0 up. And then, boom, from nowhere, Abhinav, a one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe Hilling is still struggling with his virus. Yesterday, he had no energy in him. He said he never got out of bed. But yet, he's here giving it everything, and maybe it's still in his system. Well, we're having a look at a review here. I'm not sure this is what's going to be challenged. Great pick up there. Matt has a chance to swing again, and Alec could think that Avanov might have touched the net on the way through. I don't think that's a clever swing by Matt. He has to know that someone's going to go up against him. That's the kind of ball you want to joust or you want to push from one side to the other. You don't want to swing into a big block that's coming up, a one-on-one. -on -one. I think his question was, is, did he think that he could beat Avanam for pace? Did he think if he sped up a little bit that Avanam wouldn't quite be there? And the question was that Avanam was quick with his feet, quick with his hands, but I don't think there's a net touch. Remember, two reviews allowed per team, regardless of whether they're successful or not, so Calicut will lose their first review. Take a look at it again. Is there a net touch? Not uh, for me. No, doesn't look like. We we said this, sorry. We said this yesterday, that other teams in the league will be watching this and their mouths will be watering, knowing that it's open again. And the right call has been made. Kochi are loving it. They're loving the big stage. And uh, the Calicut fans, slightly red in the face. Just playing fearlessly. Nothing to lose, nothing to fear now. Wounded spikers from Kochi, now that's what makes them doubly dangerous. Kishore Kumar is well aware of the culture that Kochi represents. Kochi, a city that takes great pride in, in winning in sport, especially in volleyball. This is the state where... Uh, they free oh, what a spike! What a spicy spike! That is a meteor from space. A rocket from the top of the world. Jerome, you astronaut. Where did that come from? You astronaut. <laughs> what a swing. Yeah, he doesn't even have to go down, straight down. He's looking for either the tips of the fingers or that defense really deep in the backcourt. And I think the blockers are turning around saying, why'd you touch that? That might have been going out. Oh, uh, Kalikan had a set point and they make a mess of it with yet another service error. So there's a the difference. Even though Kochi lost that last point because of a great Jerome spike, the service pressure meter was still right up to the top. I think the Cali could have just dropped their service pressure at a key time. Eight service headers, now 14 all. It's a race to 15, remember? This is set point for both teams. Faiz will be brought on. Abina will go out. Set point for both teams, remember. If Kochi wins this point, they will go 2-0 up. Now that could be worrying for Calicut. Such a crucial point. Can Kochi hold their nerve? Can Calicut turn it on? Faiz goes into circle. He's just coming. Has he warmed up enough? Kishore Kumar knows how big this moment is. He looks a touch nervous. Thin, wiry man. Faiz with the serve. Just puts the ball in play. Chance now. Here comes Jerome! And he will do the job! Calicut! With the second set! Somehow, oh, my heart goes out to Kochi. They could have easily been 2 0 up. It's now one apiece. When in doubt, cross Jerome beneath. It was always going to go to the outside. The ball was a little bit off. It was a good serve from Faiz. It brought out the bump set from Ukra. And in turn, Valter just couldn't quite finish quick enough with the hands and got torn. It was almost perfect for Kochi, but it's a game of very fine margins. Yeah, he was pretty quiet in the middle of that set, but pulling out two crucial swings. 
Rome to help his team get over. So it is 1-1. It's still all to play for. Make sure you come back after the break. Well, that was a second set that had just about everything. A quick hit, Calicut Heroes lead squandered. A perfect comeback from Kochi, but they couldn't quite finish the job here on home soil. That was the point that sealed it. Jerome once again on top form as we have a look at the stats. Yeah, it's 1-1 one, one now, and here's a look at the stats, how it was done. Really not much in it. If you look at the spikes, 14 to 10, the blocks, 2-3, to three, one more for Calicut, a couple more unforced errors. But if you head over to VolleyballWorld.com, you will get all the exclusive stats of the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. I'm looking right now, Jerome, five points in that last set, but he went quiet towards the second half of it. He was really strong in the beginning, and then Calicut really weren't able to get him firing towards the end of that set. So good for him to finish off with two strong. The battle for bragging rights in the backwaters of Kerala, Gold Zone country, it's Kochi versus the Calicut Heroes. It's one of these time now for the third set. Vipul Kumar, the captain to serve. Calicut look switched on. The Kochi have shown that they have the ability to spring a surprise here. Big good rally building up to start the third set. A pipe attack will work. It was George Anthony that came up with the goods. Yeah, I've got to give credit to George Anthony here through the pipe. Good speed, great swing, goes away from the body, so they can't read it. It's a Rupe on the go point from George. Good change of direction for Sandoval. But I've got to say, Erin earlier on in that point, belongs to the combination play from Ukra. Ukra loves the combination, first point of the set. When you're in the pipe as well, you've got to know who's blocking. It was Sandoval and Ashwin to his left. He's going down the right channel. They need to cover. They haven't been covering the backcourt. Mantling, the captain caught napping. Now that's been one of the things that uh, Calicut need to work on. We've seen so many of those balls dropping in no man's land. Where's the cover? You're exactly right. And that one match that they lost, this is exactly how it happened. Sandoval locked, falling to the floor with the ball and nobody covering it. So that's definitely something they need to work on. You're right, Anish. Ashwin, Okra. Here comes Jerome, he seldom fails. Jerome's got his mathematics right. He knows his geometry, he's figured the angles. You cannot block him. Nine out of ten times he will get you. It's nice that they're going to him after using a couple of other options. The chance of him finding gap is great. Rupe contact this point once again. Jerome is the man steering the ship. But Kochi in the last set still played the better volleyball for me. They just had a really poor start. They were miles down. End of the set, they were the better team. I suppose it all boils down to belief. Uh, they lack that killer punch. Just inside, that landed just inside for uh, Kochi to be given the point. Fair call, I suppose. Kishore Kumar was right there. He saw the ball land on that yellow patch. And even that doesn't get Walter to crack a smile. I mean, he knows better than anyone. He completely whiffed that ball, and he still got it in. That's just, that's luck. They'll he take it. They need it. They deserve it, Kochi. Come on, don't they? Hey, I love the underdog. You know I'm rooting for him. They weren't my pick today, but... How nervous for Calicut at the end of the second set, towards the end of it. And it took Jerome to uh, come up with that finishing touch. Now, the, the thing about Calicut is that very rarely will they give you an opportunity to trouble them. They're very quick at learning and ironing out those squeezes. Nine service errors, the same story once again on consecutive nights. Now, that could really cost Calicut come the semi-finals. Yeah, my thing was that second set, if that, if that was a set to 17, not 15, Kochi would have won it in my eyes. Another serve out the back from Sandoval. They won't mind his early doors at the moment. We've got 10 up in front of me now, Manish. Nervous error number 10 will not work. Again, as Key was saying earlier on, the ball and sometimes the contact point, very difficult. Yeah, especially for these international players they're they're really struggling to find the contact with this ball much better rip from matt hilling stays high goes off the hands nicely and he's uh, been really really steady throughout this competition for canapin but maybe just maybe at times 
and they invent this thing with the virus. Maybe we're seeing some of that when he's not quite covering as he normally would, or passing, but that's him back to his normal, aggressive, efficient self. Both teams the lead. Our air have uh, we said that. Boom. This time Matt Hilling was a lot. What like with that block alongside uh, him was Shafiq. Something we were critical of Chennai for last night was swinging blindly into the block. And I have to say, this, this ball's a little bit inside. You know that it's high enough and slow enough that the middle blocker has time to close. There's going to be a double block. You have to be more clever about what you're doing if you're coaching right now. I would say that that ball was so inside that it's difficult to do too much with it if it's not in the hitting window. I would say also Aaron's taken his eye well off the ball there, covering. When your opponent is making a mistake, do not interrupt. Let them hit. Let them hit big. The arrows will come. You've got to be smart about it in front of that three-meter line. Oh, we'll get another look at this ball right out the back. No touch from the block. And I think that's another thing that Calicut is... They're leaving a lot of space in the block sometimes, so if you can sneak it past it, that's where to get the points, but you've got to make sure it's landing in the end line. One more good serve. Chance now to go for the kill, and he's ended up... It was a nervous hit, I thought. Was never really in position, lost his shape as well, George Anthony. From behind the three-meter line, he received that big serve. Then the ball was set to him, but it was just not there, he knew it. I'm really sorry, but... Jerome Beneath is carrying this Calicut team this evening. It's another huge serve from the baseline that just upsets the rhythm of the team, the coaching team, enough. He has been on another planet again. And before coaches know it, before they even realize, Calicut will just take the game away. They have this ability to just quietly, suddenly up the, run, uh, the point scoring. That's been a key feature of Calicut's journey so far. They're so quick at uh, stealing the initiative, the, the advantage. Well, there's a look at the score. The service error is actually only seven for Calicut. We thought it was 10. Not sure we got where we got that number from, but to be fair to them, only seven. They only, but still a big number. They continue racking them up on both sides. We might have uh, just added the number of unforced errors as well to that service error number, and therefore 10. Anyhow, the moment is gone. 7-5 it is. Alicant still in the lead in this third set. It's one apiece. It's so difficult though, isn't it? Because you have to be aggressive. You want to win a championship, you've got to serve aggressively and make minimal errors. It's all a process. Well done, Okra. For Jerome! Was there a touch? Yes! Jerome Ooh. pointing at the blocker saying, you touched it, didn't you? Yes, you did. And the Beyond shoots to Greece. 8-5 now. The Red Army is loving it. They're going to be up on their feet all evening long. This is a rip-roaring battle between the two Kerala states. Time now for a technical timeout. Back in just a bit. Welcome back to the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. Here's a look at that last point from Jerome, that absolute bomb down the line. He has so much space there, and he knows it, and he gets the libero to throw an arm out. So it is 8-5 right now for the Calicut Heroes. Kind of putting the kibosh on anything that Kochi might have imagined. Yeah, he's scoring at 61%, almost two from three. That's some effort from him. George Anthony, this time there was cover. Well done to Rome. He's got to do everything. And then uh, comes zone four there. It's uh, Ashwin once again, the number 11. Yeah, where has he been all this while, Ashwin? Yeah, he's only got two points according to the stats right now. They've been feeding Jerome. I think there's a theory to just keep feeding the player that's working, but I love that Ashwin coming in hot there. When he gets the ball, he's delivering. Third time last night, I think the tactical play was to feed Jerome more. So in turn, Ukra is figuring it out as he goes. One thing that surprises me is that so far, Sandoval hasn't scored an attack point. Well, Matt Hilling, again, they need to be a little more alert in the defense, especially behind the three-meter line now. It's not just service errors. Their defense has also looked a little uh, iffy tonight, if I may 
use that word. Slightly iffy, unsure, tentative perhaps, not alert, not awake enough. 9-6 to Calicut. Go hit. That's a boom. Yes, that'll work. 10-6 to Calicut. Clever, and again, Ashwin getting involved in the offense. I think we need a little bit more out of these players, all the players on the court, other than Jerome, do a little bit more if you find them. A super point has been called for by Kochi. If Kali could win this next point, he will have a six-point lead. A super point here at the Rupee Prime Volleyball League is worth two points. The six double. There we go. Into the lead row. Here they come, they stand the cover. Oh, an error near the net from Erin Burgis. And that error gives uh, the Calicut Heroes their first super point of this match. And they go up 12-6. And you really feel that Coach have had their opportunities. There's a review coming though. Coach Bobby said, let's have another look at this one. So the net touch was called on Kochi. We're going to have another look at it. I didn't really see it in full time. I don't know about you, Louie, but they looked pretty guilty. No, I was watching the tip over the top and whether the ball hit the floor or went out or what was the story. But the question is, what's the story now then? Because it could go either way. And you think if it stays the way it is, Calicut are a very safe bet for two sets to one. Well, here we go, we get to see it again. Ukra goes up, and there it is indeed. That hack on the net by the attacker. I think it's Aaron there. Just can't get his hand back on his side soon enough. There's a one from Aaron off of Ukra. And I don't think uh, this review is going to stand up, but the last person who touched it was Aaron. Great effort in the cover. Now that I'm seeing it again... You think there's a touch, don't you? I don't know that he... Like, somebody touched the pole, but did he touch the net? Did he touch the net outside of the antenna? Aaron's left hand touched the pole, and the impact of that made the net move, so... It might well end up being a very good review. Has he touched the net with his right wow. hand? Doesn't look like. Doesn't look like to me. It's the pole that felt the impact, the tremor of that Erin Berg's left hand. And that's where I suppose Brett Schutz, beyond Schutz's correction, might have felt uh, there was an error. So, interesting review. It's a challenge. It's a tough one for the TV ref as well. Yeah, it's so tough to tell if his chest might have caught the net on the way down, but I think it's... I'm going to go ahead and say I don't think he touched the net. Oh, let's go! Wow. Well, we're right about something. The god is in the details. He did not touch the net, he touched the pole. And for those of you wondering, the pole is outside the antenna, so that is legal. You can touch that part of the court. Hashtag TIL. Today I learned, or today you learned. I've anyway done a lot of research. Every day is a school day, Manish. Thank you, ma'am. Professor <laughs> Key Michael in the house, 10 8 it is. Good review, that. Well done by uh, Bobby, the coach of, uh, standard coach of uh, the coaching blue spikers, Safir, the owner, the corner, was up on his feet. He's looking nervous, Safir. He should be. Oh, you'd like to be a fly on the wall or on the net at the moment, I, wouldn't you? I want to know who the boss is in that conversation. <laughs> that Hilling made himself amply clear to Kishore Kumar. I think Calicut will be well advised to just move on. Ukra sets it for Jerome! It always, almost always works. Ukra plus Jerome is a combination, is a match made in heaven. Yeah, and that's far from Ukra, not to overcomplicate things and just send it to your big man to try and get a three-point lead. You overcomplicate there, you're back to one, all of a sudden you're feeling the pressure. 
I love that Ukra goes back to Jerome there. And he's been going to Jerome, yes. But in this instance, you can see he was pushed way, way forward. Walter's all the way with him. So that's a tough set for any setter. He didn't get the width on it he would have liked, but he's still going to get a one-on-one. -on -one. Now, just imagine that conversation. I'm going to ask Ishor Kumar about this at dinner tonight. They're talking about Big question. They were still discussing that net touch. Matt saying, move on. Well done this time. Sandoval was part of that double block. And it worked. And the man to his left, Ashwin, came up with that block. The door was shut on that spike. Goodbye, he said. Yeah, he just talked about that risky set over eight or nine meters. If it's perfect, the hit has got a one on one and it's great. But if it's a little bit tight or it's a little bit off, all of a sudden it's a blocker's game. Bukhra is such a key, he's really the CPU of the side, he's uh, the processing unit, he's the engine room. Bukhra Pandyan, former India captain as well, Talikat, that's their journey so far. They won three at the start, a hat trick wins followed by their only loss to the end of our defenders, three to a very close game that was. Then they beat the Chennai Blitz last night. They've got one more game after this one. If they win tonight, they go top of the table and then they take on the Bengaluru Torpedoes on the 20th of February. Now, it could be one of those uh, tricky matches for the Bengaluru Torpedoes. Now, what about the Kochi Blue Spikers? After tonight, they've got two more matches. Now, that's more for the Kochi fans. You've got to turn up here in large numbers as Kochi gets set to take on the defenders from Ahmedabad and the Mumbai Meteors. Those are the two remaining league games. But a loss tonight will mean curtains for their campaign, unfortunately. But as I said in the pre-show, the fans are the biggest stakeholders. They're really the soul of this league. And uh, how well have they supported us and this league, the sport, in Bengaluru, in Hyderabad, and now in Kochi? Yeah, I mean, we've been lucky enough to watch volleyball all over the world. Italy, Poland have amazing atmospheres. But this is right up there with them. This night, for me anyway, will be one of the most memorable evenings in volleyball because of the atmosphere because of the fans and because of the dancing nobody dances like the indian fans here well it's uh, because this rupee prime volleyball league is a step in the right direction for this sport that was uh, forgotten in a sense it was an oblivion and this sport has really brought this uh, this league has really brought this sport into the spotlight the fibb has loved this league as well Boom! How is that for crash landing? How could you not love this volleyball? When you get plays like that, you get points, super points, aces, super serve, and then you have talented players that can hit around the block just like that. Jerome is absolutely firing on all cylinders tonight. Huge external rotation of the shoulder, the wrist, the hand away, and then he goes and gives the eyes. I love it. Get those fans popped up. Gladiator Jerome Beneath. 13 9, two points away from taking a 2 1 lead. Remember, it's a race. 2 15 points. Ashwin serves it. Chance for Kochi to spike. Here we go. One versus one. And that landed just inside. Ashwin for a second, for a moment, thought about uh, getting a hand to it. It wasn't to be. The key days of action. 13 10 it is. I'm curious about that one. The defense really, really shallow. I think there might have been a hole in the block. It was a one-on-one -on -one there, so the defense has crept in there, expecting that ball to be really sharp and hard-driven. Instead, he hits that corner. Nicely done. Aaron Burgess. Just a, a few bright, few bright spots for uh, the Kochi Blue Spikers. Aaron Burgess. Okra sets it this time for Matilik, and the double block was there. Walter and Shivam. It takes two to tango, and how well did they do that? They they were able to preempt, anticipate that move from Hilling, and they were ready. It's interesting, isn't it? Because that win against the, the Thunderbolts last week in Hyderabad, the reaction of this team was another level. It was like the heroes had won the league, and since then they haven't been up to their best performances. Complacency, maybe. MVP leaderboard for us. Guru, Vinikuma, there is Jerome Vinit. I mean, he is sensational this evening. And there is Sandoval, who we've hardly seen offensively. Yes, serving and blocking, but he needs to get the ball a little bit more to up his points tally. Jerome, top scorer right now of this 
game, but I'm a little bit nervous if I'm Calicook. This is exactly what happened in the second set. Kochi just crept their way back in, kept hammering on the door, and then they were neck and neck, and it was 14-14. It could have been any one second set. So Calicook's not going to want to take their foot off the gas. Got a glimpse of Sanju Samson, star India cricketer. He looked more focused than some of the players. So engrossed. That's the beauty of the sport, doesn't it? It just sucks you in. 13-11. Big serve from Erin. Straight to the Libro. Okra sets it for Jerome. What's new? Tell me something I don't know. He's unbelievable the last two evenings. Without him, they wouldn't have... Well, they wouldn't be in the lead this evening, Calicut, and they wouldn't have beaten Chennai Blitz yesterday. The question I've got now is where's Sandoval? Where's Ashwin? Where's the rest of the team? Because they can't become too dependent on this man either. That's a great point. He has 14 points. The next close is Ashwin Raj with five. So we're used to seeing huge numbers out of Sandoval. Yeah, and my he, worry is Sandoval. And really, really quiet. And I just wonder if his team might feel that his energy is down after that last couple of matches. So reverse quick. Happy days for Volta. Bringing a little bit of Brazilian rhythm to the prime of Volleyball League. Bouncing ball through the block. And Kochi stay alive. That quick back set, you don't see that often in this men's league. In fact, it's usually Kishor Kumar's team that's running that ball behind. That wasn't a one leg takeoff, but still, nice little play. Two more set points, and they will not need more than one. They close the set once again, courtesy. Their rock star, Jerome Benit, he's bumped up, or is he? That chest bump with the coach, Kishore Kumar. Tells the story of a team that is on an absolute roll. Courtesy that one man, Jerome Benit. They lost the first set and they've stormed back to take a 2-1 lead. I'm asking questions of the block. If I'm right now and I'm on the coach's side, there has to be a two-man block every single time. At this point, Jerome's the only one getting set. Yes, that's a fantastic swing. Yes, it's a great moment for Calicut. But where are the coaches minds? They gotta be switched on. It's 2-1, make sure you come back. Hello and welcome back to the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. It is all happening here. Calicut, 2-1 over the Kochi Blue Spikers for this Southern Derby. If you want to go head over and see all the exclusive stats on VolleyballWorld.com, you will find Jerome Minnith with 15 points for his team. Absolutely riding high for Calicut right now. Next post is for his team. Only five. That's Ashwin Raj. So if I'm Kochi right now, I'm saying how do we stop that man? The only number that counts or the number that Calicut are most worried about or most focused on is the two points they will get for the win because that win those two points will take them to the top of the table. Absolutely. The one thing that would worry me, though, is over the last couple of evenings, it's not been a performance that probably Kishore Kumar would have wanted to set them up for the playoffs, etc. They're getting a little bit too reliant on the opposite man, Jerome Beneath. We're starting to see Sandoval, who was by far the most entertaining, but also top scoring middle... Well, before I carry on, Kochi are not done here. Super serve, worth two. And the seam between Hilling and Six has just been conquered again from Erin. Well, I'm watching Matt's face right now, and he is furious. He is pulled over. He's trying to cover Jerome. He's got a lot of space. That space between him and the libero is traditionally going to be the libero's ball. I, I think Kochi have sort of identified that. Matt Hilling, the opposition captain, isn't at his best tonight. I don't think he's fully recovered from that little bug that troubled him last night. He didn't play in that game against Chennai last night, so he isn't 100%. He looked a bit lost. And so it's up to Okra and Jerome. This time they found a way to block him. Alert. Libro, not in position. That ball has to go across. Okra will set it once again. This time for. Oh. Do they have a plan B? Their plan is Jerome. The moment they try to go away from that plan, somehow Calicut looked half as strong 
interesting because they don't need to go away from him just yet. They're trying to do something without having established him in this set. Yes, he's established in the match overall, but in this set, he's still unestablished. And also, when you set somebody so much, it's very difficult for everybody else to find any rhythm whatsoever. Everybody wants to be in the game. Everybody else wants to be hitting balls on a regular basis. So you just got to give them time and keep trust. This time he tried again. Much better response from Ashwin. A well done, Ukra. Still in play. Calicut aware. Libro versus Libro. One more set. Shubham Chaudhary! You cannot keep the doors of your treasury open. When a spiker is where he was. Well, we don't see a lot of one-on-zero pummels in this league. But I think you'll see why here in a minute. Jerome slips on a little bit of water there. Unlucky spot. But it's a Rupe contactless shot. Nevertheless, as Shukum just comes in, hammering. That's a burglary. No security guards at the net. Get burgled. Everything's been robbed. No insurance, and they're five down. And it's uh, the emerging player nominees that we're going to have a look at. Ashwin, being superb. Just come back into the game, setting through two. And also, uh, Shashil Kumar, another one. But in between them, we have Aaron Vaghezi and uh, Kevin Sebastian as well. And I've even, how could I forget Abinav at number two? The criteria is got to be less than 25 years of age. And you, if you've played for India, you are not allowed to be in contention for uh, that award. So last year, guess who it was, the winner? I'm just going to go ahead and throw a wild guess that it was Guru. That's right. Spot on. <laughs> well done. You watched a lot of the videos of last season as part of your preparation. SV Guru Prasad was the winner of the Emerging Player Award last season. This season, the captain. A bit of a borderline case, isn't it? Hyderabad and Bengaluru. One of the two teams could make it through to the top four. I don't think a single broadcast goes by without us mentioning Guru's name. If you're home watching, hope you enjoy that we talk about you so much. He could buy side screens. No. Just keep spiking the way you are, Guru. Whenever the Blackhawks Hyderabad play. It's so good to uh, see Abhishek Reddy, the owner of the Blackhawks Hyderabad, Vijay Devarkonda. One of the faces of uh, the ownership team. Oh, boom! How well he took off like Superman! And he just detonated that ball uh, like a hot potato. In that open space, backs it beautifully, Shubham Chaudhary. Great set, width and speed, gets uh, gaps in between the block, and Rohit makes it count. Can he come to the party eventually in this league? It looks like he's just crescendoing his way through. I point the lead for the coach, he blew spikers. In comes Abil Krishnan. And we saw a few fireworks from Abil. Uh, Fights with a very simple action, but there's so much power that he generates. Will we get to see that? The Libro keeps it in play. Ah, oh, just all, almost. Prabhakaran died for dear life to keep that ball in play. Wasn't to be. Found himself in an, an awkward position. Almost crashed into that ball there. And we talked earlier about Walter's serve. This one was spicy. You're not going to get a chance to see it because we're having a look at the very last point. But he dropped it in front made it really difficult for Calicut to do anything with it, then they're always going to be on the back foot there. Calicut looking for a comeback. That's a dumpling from Mohan Pandian, the wily old fox of the Calicut heroes. That is his signature move. Trademark Pandian for you. That is his signature move, and it's even smarter because there is no middle attack. He only really had the outside. The first pass was too small. Too short from Hilling, and in turn he's fooled everybody there. That is a dollop of delight. Have to give some credit at times to Kochi's serving areas to keep Sandoval out of the game. Serving Hilling there makes it very difficult on that angle for Sandoval to get involved. Maybe we can look and dig a bit deeper into that to see if that's the reason why Sandoval isn't scoring. Before that, we're going to go for a quick break because it's a more cool technical timeout. Can the Kochi Blue Spikers come back?
Well, here's the A23 Fantasy leaderboard. And Raul K from Calcutta is at the top. He's serving, he's blocking, he's scoring. He's having a great competition. Svetanov not far behind. But when it comes to this game, well, it's a battle. It's a derby. And Kochi are refusing to give in. Big news. There's a super point that's been called from Calicut, which means this one counts for two. Well, huge moment because Calicut has only been able to score two points so far. Kochi, a great start so far in this set. He served. Oh, easy swing. Open waters for Matt Hilling as the blockers get sucked in. And he takes the channel. I think that's a small play at 8 2 down with a standing float serve coming your way. Hilling has it slightly easy here from Savan Chowdhury, serving short once more. Smart tactic to keep the middle out of the game, but not the outside. Hilling hammers with an open net. I think that's clever from Ukra as well, because no one's expecting that ball to go to Matt. Yeah, he's completely overloaded the right side throughout the game, isn't he? And then the left side loses the blocker a little bit, passes in play, this time a little bit of whip there, and in turn, that's an audaciously high swing on the right side. Well, by someone who's needed to come to the forefront in this league, and he has here this evening. Rohit Kumar from the right side this time unleashes over the top of Hilling's block. Rohit Kumar still with only five points so far, but I like that he goes really, really sharp. He sees the middle blocker. He's a little bit late to dive in their cross. Yeah, my bad. I thought that took a, took a big nudge off of Hilling. Into the net this time from Kochi, but they still have a little bit of security here. And they have to keep going for their serves. It's what they've hung their hat on throughout this whole entire game. And that comes with pros and cons, or as uh, Manish would say, a double-edged sword. There are the service errors just flashing on your screen as Matt Hilling looks to rip another jumper. Good service pressure, high ball, two up in the block, and that's a spot of play from Aaron Barizi. Because he has got two, he has to stay high, and because of that, he gets the rub of the green. The coachy fans shimmying away. They are loving it tonight. They finally have something to be excited about as well. This is great play out of Kochi. We haven't seen this all season long. They're finding their rhythm, finding that ill-disciplined block. The space is there to be taken. Oh, Matt just letting Jerome know how he feels there at the end. Somehow they seem to feel a little bit sleepy behind the three-meter line, the Caligar heroes. Ashwin will win a point, a touch of the block as well as the ball landing just inside. Now, all other players apart from Jerome have got to realize that they need to raise their game. Of course, Ukra needs to set to them, but when the opportunity shows up, you've got to respond. Yeah, I would tend to agree, and that's a good rip from Ashwin again. He just stays high, doesn't try and hit steep on the three-meter line, tries to hit the baseline, gets a little bit of the rub of the green, I've said that twice in quick succession, but it's true. And they're still, they still have a chance here. But what I think is every intention is seen by every other team. And I think they're starting to look at Calico and say, there's a few weaknesses here, and we can identify them and we can come up with a game plan to maybe put them under some pressure ourselves. Well, again, Kochi getting heated on the outside. Nice big swing. And might this be the moment, Louis, for you to explain to us what exactly does the rub of the green mean? I'm not a golfer, but I'm assuming that's where it comes from. You just get a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck at the right time for doing the right thing. There you go, a little bit of luck down the line. Perfectly executed. Kochi looking good for this set. You don't get Louis to start talking about golf. That'll be an endless conversation, an endless monologue. Ashwin, oh, well done by the Libro. Here comes Shubham, he changed his angle, Prabha will keep it in play. Here comes Jerome, not in the position to spike, Walter to Shubham. That goes outside, was there a touch? Uh, <laughs> Bianchu changed his mind, first went left, then went right, just in the nick of time. I think there was a signal from the second ref, who told him that there was a touch of the wipe. 
battling the Fox who have injured himself a little bit. We'll take a look at that. Yeah, we're going to get a chance to look at it again, Matt. You can see on his face because what happened before he went to run down a ball, and I think he twisted an ankle. He was walking around a little bit injured as he made his way back to the court. I hope he's all right, but he had to say to Kishor Kumar, I, I need to be subbed. He walked himself up to the sub line and said, I need out. Is it the ankle? Is it the knee? I wonder. We'll take a look at it. And we shall update you guys, in just, guys and girls in just a bit. 12-6 it is to Kochi. Will they take it through to the fifth set? Oh, that dumpling overcooked. Never tastes right if it's overcooked, the dumpling. This is a very, very flat performance from the heroes. And we sensed it in the last set as well. Kochi could have had this one in the locker room already, having got the win. That's how good they've been and how poor Kala could have been. I don't know if it's about their intensity, Maybe there's a few problems in the dressing room, who knows? But that's better, Prem Singh is there. Chuban with a third touch, had to go across. Prabha, Okra, Jerome, it works. Okra and Jerome are like Siamese twins. Wired differently, those two, there's a software that gets them working very well in sync. Oh, that's a worrying sign. I hope it isn't serious. Yeah, they do seem to be able to read each other's minds. But Ukra just getting him the ball that he wants. Look how high it is. Look how wide it is. If he wanted, he could go line. If he wanted, he could go cross. He's got all the options. He falls a little awkwardly, so I hope he's all right. You can't have two injuries in a row for this Calico team. But that's what you get. Playing back-to-back, -back, it is tough. Now we'll get you an update on Matt Hilling's injury in just a bit. But admire that move. Walter does an Ukra on Ukra. Yeah, for me, the fatigue is a big thing here after getting set so many balls playing two in a row, but also so many games in quick succession. Off the hands, and happy days. Now oh, then, guess what's happened while you were enjoying that replay? Jerome Benitez has gone off court. He was holding his calf muscle and a bit of his knee. Matt Hillen gone, Jerome Benitez gone. For now, it's, it's the hamstring. I wonder what that means, not just for this set, not just for this match, but for the tournament. Hamstring for Matiling, and it's uh, the groin for Jerome, I've been told. Or the other way around. We'll find out. Great serve. Kochi should, uh, should believe they can close this game while the two big guns are away. The pipe attack worked. Aaron Vergis. Where did he get that venomous arrow from? I'm taking absolutely nothing away from the coaching blue spikers. They have been the best we have seen all season long. Bobby's done a great job. I've got to give it to him. Aggressive from the service line. Aggressive on the front court. All the big guns are firing. And it doesn't matter if Jerome's gone off. He's only been off for one point. And that's how it finished. Big play through the pipe. And are the best of the Kochi Blue Spikers going to prevail here this evening? It's going to be a brilliant ending. Yeah, great response from Kochi after being down 2-1. We are now tied up 2-2, a 15-7 finish there. And it is still all to play for. Make sure you come back. Well, the Kerala Derby is turning into a game to remember. The Kochi Blue Spikers, without a win this season, have pulled it back to 2-2 against the Kanaka Heroes. There are our stats. Not much between the two teams, but 31 successful spikes to 24. A huge, huge difference. Get the exclusive stats of the Rupe Prime Volleyball League, www.volleyballworld.com. Yeah, I'm looking at the stats right now. Aaron Varghese, the top scorer of that last set with four points. Rohit coming in with three. And Kochi just all around a really good team performance. Here's a look at the Rupe VIP box. Make sure you be on the go. We're on the way. Set five is going to be a decider. And that man there, Sandoval, has hardly scored a point all evening long. And when you think about a man who scored 18 in the opening game of the season, it's nice and then it's a beautiful.
full block. One big reason why that hands a big shot is a great piece of news for Calicut is that Matt Hilling is off court. Looks like his injury is growing. Jerome Vineet got a bit of uh, servicing for his uh, straight after that fourth set during the break. I'm not too sure if they should risk it. Should they risk putting Jerome Vineet on court? He is on court at this stage. That makes sense keeping in mind the semi-finals that will be up very soon. Well, when it rains, it pours when it comes to injuries. Looks like Walter's nursing something now landed a little bit funky on his teammates foot. But that's what happens when these teams start to get tired. Fatigue creeps in, discipline is lost, and muscles just, it's really a lot harder for you to kind of catch yourself in moments like this. Well, even when he isn't 100% fit, he's able to come up with winners like that. What a clean hit that was from uh, Jerome. Yeah, if you're Calico right now, you're kind of just holding on. You're saying, can we get through this set? Can we get this score? Jerome not looking in top form, not a hitting as hard as usual, but that's a clever swing over the block and deep. Well, they quickly got a bit of magic spray on that uh, knee or uh, thigh muscle or whatever it is. We'll find out. Jerome isn't 100%. And therefore, perhaps you can steal a point or two when Jerome is in the block with Sandoval. Remember, the captain is off court. This is the fifth and final set. It's the decider. It's been such an ups and down seesaw battle. And in moments like these guys, I, I think all Ukrapanyan's role becomes even more crucial. He's got to, he's got to calm the nerves because Kochi are in the mood tonight. I mean, he's in an interesting spot, isn't he? Because what you do, you keep feeding him in the fifth. I would say if it was the first, yes, 100%. But you've got to struggle to feed him when he's not swinging 100%. That time, great swing on the wing. The healing. The name is Abil. Abil has a lot of ability. Such a sight, isn't it? Yeah, great swing by him. And you saw Sandoval run behind you for that time. So good work by Walter to see you following, not get tricked. He knows Sandoval's not firing. He's not going to be sold up the river. But that's a completely different the Calicut heroes and what we saw throughout this competition. That opening game, he got set so much for the Kanaka heroes that against Hyderabad, they almost committed every single ball to Sander. That's one-on-ones on the outside. I don't know if that's going to be the, the same way and the same point throughout the rest of the unless they get him back in the game. That's it for Jerome. Soft touch works. Jerome has so many gears. Outclassing the blocker, using his brains. Beautiful. Strikes me as a player who's giving 100% even when he cannot give any more. He's finding a way to score. That ball's tight. He's, the blockers have the advantage, yet he's still pushing off. And we're having a look at Sandoval now. That's the man, that's the face of a man who's in pain. I don't think that there's something going wrong there is why he's not getting set so much. You know, oh, just outside from Sandoval. Now, you know, I'm just thinking about Calicut losing to Ahmedabad. There was a first loss uh, in Hyderabad, it was. Then the win against Chennai last night and their performance tonight. The, all these three matches, Kalik have looked a pale shadow of themselves as compared to the first three wins. So, clearly, something's wrong somewhere. I mean, in that middle area, Sandoval's had four sets and he's made four errors, which is very unlike Sandoval. I'm interested to know how much the other middle's been set. Bobby's in the middle of the action once more, Valtus disappeared. Well, we're 4-4 four, four now. Have a look at this last play. Ukra setting it up outside. Big block. Walter not able to bring it back in. But that's, I think, another touch of the net. I love that from Abil, though, because the play is really condensed to the left side. The play is quite predictable. So there's two blockers on him. Stays fast, stays high, scores. Good decision-making under pressure. Great sub. Straight at Erin. Chance. Oh, well done by Prabha. This time he was awake. That's what you want to see more of. Jerome, everything that he touches turns to goal. It's just his Midas touch. He's pumped up. Four touches, says Bia's shoot. Oh, I love watching Jerome play. Don Calica love him. He is the trump card for Kishore Kumar and the Calicut heroes and the Red Army.
Coach, you are questioning beyond shoots. The decision has been taken, young man. Go back and play. I hope we get a chance to see this again. It looked like he held up four fingers, calling four touches. Maybe my counting skills are off. Let's have a look. So here's a swing. Picked up. Great defensive work. Chance one, two, three, four. Good. Well well done to Beyond Shoots mathematics teacher. Normally that first touch could count as a block, but he wasn't in blocking position, so it has to count just as a normal touch. Gallic had lead by a point in this fifth and final set. The decider, what a serve. Ooh, what a serve that was. Shubham Chaudhary. The blockers made way, but Prabhakar couldn't recycle it. What's happening? Now, when things start to go wrong, this is what happens. It's not just uh, Sandoval looking pale. It's not just Ukra Pandin looking slightly off color, but Prabhakar has had a, had a forgettable game as well tonight. It's a good swing from Savant Chowdhury. Let's not take that away, but the blockers have called for a down ball. You call a down ball when you think the ball's not going to be hit very hard. The thing is that Subham is 205. From that situation, he can still hammer the ball. Lock stays up, they make the point. Five ball in the fifth set. Ukra sets it for Jerome, who figures a plan. Penetrates the defense once again. Like knife through butter. Beautifully done once again from Jerome Vinny. And he is so, so, so smooth with those shots. His contact point, look at the side spin he puts on that. So he's contacting above his head, and that's basically all wrist that he's using to get it from where he is to the other sideline. Great swing. I've got to say, I am worried about the heroes for a few different reasons. Fatigue, maybe one of them. Injuries, another. Sandoval not firing. They're going to have to battle so hard to get through this one because I think Kochi are right there and I think they're playing all the volleyball somewhere from somewhere they're united coach Bobby's done something here to get this team together they were so good against the torpedoes they just missed out will they be triumphant this evening is the question God's own country Kerala is watching a, a battle worth remembering between these two Kerala cities Kochi and Calicut locked in an unforgettable battle and uh, it's really going to be a heartbreak moment for whoever loses because in the first half of this match we thought Kochi are the better team now Calicut have managed to win the big moments it's the Kochi service errors that are costing them these moments another point to Calicut 7-6 it is Rohit Kumar goes off court yeah, Kohit could have to keep their wits about them. They are struggling through. They are scrapping by. Well oh. done. Where did that come from? I don't think the blockers expected that. That absolute chaffer from Jibin, one of the contenders of uh, the Emerging Player Award win. I mean, it's a great play, running from the right side round to the left, hoping that the middle player takes the opposing middle. Sandoval, watch him. Sort of jumps, boom. And then there's loads of room into the angle for the young man. Yeah, I love a good combination play, and I love that Kochi right now is riding this wave. If they can hold on to this, this momentum, this is the moment, this is the day to battle against Calicut, if ever. Okra sets it for Jerome. Oh, Sandoval was alert. Jerome will try again. No, Okra will go for it. Block that if you can. Oh, well done, Abil Krishnan MP. Okra for Jerome. Still not over. What a rally. This is the magic of the fifth set, and it's that Kochi error once again. Working wonders for the Calicut heroes. Chembala Red Army absolutely loving it. Pick a winner if you have the guts. It's 8 7 to Calicut time for an Amul. Cool technical timeout. Well, there's the points at table. It's a huge game for Kochi. They haven't yet won in this league, but tonight could be their night. And that lines up. If Calicut do lose, my word, it opens this league table up. Bengaluru are waiting the heroes, and it's going to be a crunch grudge match in the Rupe Prime Volleyball League.
Great opening serve for Kalik and finally Sandoval slowing things down. Again, looking like a broken man right now. That is a shell of the Sandoval that we are used to seeing. Yeah, he just hasn't quite been there the last two evenings, is he? He's been said a lot of the time, but I can't remember him scoring. But he does make a big, big block on Bolter. Bolter's had the better of Sandoval this evening for me, but not there. It's been quite a workout for our vocal cords and uh, just a quick uh, thank you to life for this great opportunity. These are the names that uh, get the opportunity to call these uh, unbelievable matches at the Rupee Prime Volleyball League across five languages, English, Hindi, Malayalam, Tamil and Telugu on the Sony Sports Network as well as on Volleyball World. Billions watching us across the world and this is a game-changing league and I'm honored we are to be a part of a little part of this league. And now that you've seen our names, you can come let us know what an awful job we're doing on social media. Or great, depending if you love us or hate us, let us know. Okra. Let it go, let it go. There's too much on it, too much spice and salt. Yes, we are in the city of spices, but you can't OD on it. The double-edged sword again, Manish. You've got to go for it at these times, but the execution is just lacking a little bit. The set's a little bit off maybe for Aaron there. He's charging in a little bit back on the shoulder. And Kishore Kumar will know if his team wins this. They're a lucky, lucky team this evening. If, if Kochi doesn't pull out this set, come back to win it, they will be kicking themselves. Halakut has three injured players. One of them has been pulled off court. They have to know that if they're going to win, they have to force Halakut to play. Those two words, he, those two words, if only. That might describe a forgettable campaign for the Kochi Blues Packers. Battling there, uh, the designated captain with a bit of a groin injury is out right now. And yeah, that's more like it from Walter. Easy picking for Walter De Cruz. We need more of that, way more of that. The first time Walter was swinging against Sandoval, and I feel like it wasn't even Sandoval's best block, but this one, have a look how high he can get. The setter gives him that nice high ball. He can swing all day long around this block. You know, if Calicut go on to win this match, uh, they must tell themselves that they escaped embarrassment. Calicut, clearly the more informed team, the better team with more weapons. But how much have Kochi pushed them? Kochi have uh, given the Calicut heroes a lesson worth remembering. And who knows, these lessons might uh, hold them in good stead come the knockouts. Yeah, absolutely. They certainly got a lot to learn from. The question is, the Kochi is still making a lot of errors at the moment. So as soon as they turn the tap off, they're getting fortunate. That's Jerome missing out on the hands. I like that from Schubert, pulling his hands away. He knew exactly what Jerome wanted to do. He's done it a couple times already in this match. Ukra sets it for Ashwin this time. Oh, they keep it in play. Somehow they manage to recycle. Erin will have to push it across. Oh, it will land outside. Oops, moment for Erin Vergis. He generally likes to spike. He doesn't like these uh, awful balls that come at him where he cannot do what he naturally is good at. Super point has been called for by the Kochi Blue Spikers because they want to level scores. If not, if Calicut wins this point, it will be 13-9. Remember, a super point here in this league is worth two points. Ashwin to serve. Kochi need to receive well for them to spike first. Vipul, Shobam. Raba, Okra, Jerome, Okra, Raba. Once again, Jerome, awkward angle. Oh, still in play. Jerome fell twice. One on one. Lands outside. Oh, did it. He didn't. Doesn't matter. Scores are level. There is another twist in this tale. Oh, my word. The Kerala Derby is alive and how. Wow. Aaron has made a big block on that man. To recycle the ball and then boom through two. I think that's a huge, huge moment for Kochi's confidence. Yeah, both teams working so hard for this point. I love this recycle on the cover. Have a look here. Walter falls down, realizes the set's backward, gets out of the way, and still allows some space for Aaron to get in there. That was a tough play all around. Sandoval was so cross with himself. Why did he not go and support Jerome on the left? 
Anyhow, the moment's gone. Such a nervous battle this for these two teams. Calicut have been shocked and stunned. They did not expect a show like this. But I'm sure uh, those are special guests uh, at uh, who are sitting in the Rupe VIP box have loved every bit of this contest. The Kerala Derby between Calicut and uh, Kochi, Sanju Sampson. There's just been that one expression on his face. He's just been bedazzled, bewildered, bewitched by the, the quality of action on court tonight, Sanju Sampson. I think we all have, haven't we? We didn't expect a battle like this one. I was thinking 5-0-4-1 for Calicut. How wrong was I, us? Now then, Calicut showing the guts to go all in. They called for a super point, so the score will either be 13-11 or 11-13. It takes guts. Kishore Kumar has shown his intentions. Good move, wise move. I think so. It slows down the pressure from the server. Okra. Oh, maybe careful, not. careful, Sandoval. What was he doing? Caught napping. And they get the point, or will they? Oh, Pian shoots. There was a tantalizing wait before he raised his left arm. Jubilations in the Kochi camp. Calicut want to review it. What a moment. What is going on here? Maybe there's going to be a referee's review at least, okay. They said there's no touch. Yes, I, I think the ball landed outside, so it makes sense to ask for this review. You don't take it home anyway, so good call. Had to. Well, we'll get another chance to see it here. Great save by Ukra. Chance for Sandoval, but no, almost falling. Luckily, the libero Prabha coming and digging in there. This moment right here, though, easy ball. You knew it's going to be a free ball. Sandoval is nowhere because he's fallen over something. Walter going for a swing, going way too high. I don't think he got that touch. Such a crucial review. It could decide the fate of this contest. Did it just kiss his left thumb? That's the question. Another angle will be offered to the TV ref. Did it kiss that left thumb? We'll find out. This angle perhaps? Uh, oh. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's the left thumb which will give the Kochi Blue Spikers a thumbs up. That tells us a slightly different story, doesn't it? Is it conclusive enough? That's oh, the question. Yeah. For me, it is. That's a touch all day, baby. Walter versus Sando. It's that thumb. Oh, my word. You can see his right hand as the ball comes into contact. His fingers, his fingers jiggle just a little bit. And when you're going up to block, you don't jiggle your fingers. You go straight over and solid as a rock. So that tells me at the touch. This is crazy. I think Cody deserved this game. They played aggressively. And Calicut were out of rhythm there. There was, they were out of sync with Ukra to Sandoval. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's right. That's absolutely right. Sandoval, as he was coming off, I think he was signaling to his coach. He was wagging his finger saying, no, 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 touch, touch. I don't know if he was saying, no, I didn't touch it, but sometimes there have been some miscommunication errors on when you should call the challenge or not. The fear, his heart beats for the sport. One of the co-owners of the Calicut heroes. What's he thinking? Calicut have lost their review. Sandoval. Will want to forget about this game as quickly as possible. Well, he will heave a sigh of relief if uh, Calicut can pull this off and win the next four points. Kochi two away from registering their first win after four depressing losses. They're in Vergis to serve. Where is Sandoval? He's been lost. Can he make a man? No, he can't. It's match points. Oh, Kochi. This is unknown territory. Three match points for the first time in this league this season huge block by walter at exactly the right moment he took a gamble he stayed with sandoval who hasn't been set a lot this whole match he could have flung out there to jerome but instead he hangs tight and it pays off sandoval zero attacking points all evening off the five sets that is not what we're used to here will he serve big yes he will chance Abil Krishnan, chance for Kochi to close this. Chubham Chaudhary, still in play. Sandoval, where is he looking? Abil Krishnan, here comes Jerome! Lands! 
Lands. Outside. Coach, he win. The Red Army is feeling the blues. This is a huge upset. It doesn't matter where it landed. No reviews left. The Kochi Blue Spikers win the Kerala Derby. That's the first tip of success for past throats. It's an oasis in a desert. Kochi win. That's the headline. Calicut lose. Even bigger headline. The biggest upset of this league so far. It's the Blues that make Calicut feel the Blues. The Red Army has been stunned into silence. Calicut will not have the top spot. They lost Eduardo Ramey. They have lost every game. They lost Harry Lau. But eventually they win something this season. And it's against their rivals here. The look on the face of the fans tells us everything. It hasn't been right here for the heroes the last two nights. They were lucky last night against the Blitz to win 3-2. But tonight, they weren't as lucky against their rivals. Brilliant from Kochi. Huge, huge, huge game out of Kochi to come back after losing everything and play like this against one of the best teams in the league proves they have still got something left. That was the last point. Whether it landed in or out, that's up to you at home. But the point went to Kochi. That is the beauty of sport. When the chips are down, if you can fight, if you can show mental reserve and fortitude, if you can take the court with the right spirit and the right attitude, you can make magic happen. That is the magic of this sport, this league. The Kochi Blue Spikers came here with so much more self-belief. They played out of their skins tonight and they showed the world that the Calican Heroes are beatable. A second loss for the Calican Heroes, a first taste of success for the Kochi Blue Spikers. What a win in five sets. The top spot will remain with the Ahmedabad defenders back in just a bit.